What's up, y'all? Willie's Comics back with another haul video. Uh, today, I wanted to do a spotlight of the things that I picked up while on vacation. Um, this is from local con that I went to for one day, local comic book shops, and then stuff that I just was looking for. Uh, this is, and then some stuff that's already in my collection, which I'll get to. So I'll just explain it as I go. <clears throat> so 71 spiked recently being the first full appearance of Bosk, and I was almost certain I had this in my collection back at home because I had, took a lot of the books with me to where I'm stationed with the army, but I also left about a lot back home. So I have a pretty beautiful copy of 71, first uh, full appearance of Bosk, direct edition. Um, it's got one ding right there, but besides that, it's pretty nice. So uh, I didn't pay that. I think they, I got this in a collection a while back, so that was good. Um, again, Legacy 16. This is some good speculation. This book is super mint. I uh, don't remember where I got this, but, you know, probably a collection. Star Wars Republic 71. First, or no, I'm sorry, Death of Ventress, plus an awesome Anakin Skywalker cover. Um, so that was in the collection. Star Wars Tales 13. Um, it's kind of beat up but again this is kind of a spec book for a while there and it's still kind of command some money so that's pretty cool uh, up next rebellion number one this is actually a very hard to find and not very well known second printing the first printing has a blue title uh cover or uh, like up here is blue like light blue but the second printing is orange and this is my second copy of this i have one of my i've been having one of my collection there was this one that i bought a while back as well but yeah, look out for that. It's actually, I think I saw a sale go for 50 bucks on eBay. So it's actually a really nice book to have. And then also a, another Star Wars Tales very cover that I just didn't have with me in what I'm stationed that I'm gonna bring back with me. So I love my Darth Vader stuff. So this was all stuff I already had in my collection. And then this right here is stuff that I picked up at the con this past weekend. So I'll explain what, why I bought it and how much I paid. So this is so the Old Republic 49. Gorgeous cover, newsstand edition, and I paid two dollars for this. So if you get a Kotor issue with two great looking characters with fur in a newsstand for two bucks, every single day I'll do that. Um, and then this other booth, I got a lot of newsstands. So I think for the next few books, I paid twenty five for, I believe. So right of pa or Star Wars forty three, right of passage, newsstand fifty four. Clinton Voss, these are all Clinton Voss stuff. Newsstand. This is actually a different booth, but I'll get to it. Uh, first Dooku, Star Wars 42. Newsstand. So it's 5 5, that's 10. And then 15. A newsstand right here. Ventures cover. Lum Su. I was super excited about this and this one right here. So that was basically 28, and we just agreed on 25. So. And again, I love Ventress, so I was really excited about this one right here. And the Dooku one. Uh, next, I guess I got, I finally found a, you know, I've been wanting this one for a while, but I finally just pulled the trigger on it. The guy wanted 25. I offered eight, 15 bucks and I ended up paying 18. So I got the Star Wars 12 Dynamic Forces exclusive variant. So that was pretty hype. 4193 out of 5,000 copies. The best deal I got for the day was I also bought a Star Wars 71 uh, for $4, and I knew exactly I had to pick it up right when I saw it, and I was super excited because I forgot if I had the direct or newsstand, but I got the newsstand, and I already had the direct, so now I got both for the collection, so super stoked about that. And then the pull of the haul... Um, was a Star Wars Republic 51 for a Sturge newsstand. And thank goodness, this is like the best looking one of the lot of all the newsstands that I got. Um, the guy wanted 150. Um, I did not pay that. What I ended up doing is I got that collection that I showed y'all, that Marvel and all that stuff. And so I had a New Mutants 87. It wasn't mint, but first appearance of Cable, I offered the dude a straight up trade and he agreed, so. Cause I think I already bought, I think he didn't want any more cash. Like he might've wanted more like 20, 20 extra bucks. But since I had already bought some stuff from him, he just agreed to it. So yeah.
got first dirge newsstand and i'm super stoked about that gorgeous book again dirge is coming soon to canon so that is a solid book right there um up next at the same con i am trying to build up my mandalorian collection right now so i'm i ended up keeping that pre vizsla so what i'm going to do is i bought uh ben rao for i paid 30 um i loved fen rao i think it looks super cool but yeah i'm trying to build up my mandalorian collection right now so that's why i got that <sighs> Uh, I also do three and three quarter Sith, but I also recently decided to do Mandalorian. Well, I, I did a while back, but I'm now committing to it. So yeah. All right. So this is the first local shop I went to. I got Star Wars Mara J by the Emperor's Hand. This book, this series kind of blew up, like, not like recently, recently, but it kind of got hot. Um, cause I remember buying, so I got two, four and six and they are all newsstands. And from this shop, I also got issue one newsstand from him. And that was in December. So the fact that these are still there, I was super happy. Um, I paid five apiece. And then I got Heir to the Empire trade paperback. I think this sells for about 48 bucks on eBay. And I paid 20 so I figured I'd pick that up. Uh, can't sleep on those Dark Horse trades. So did that. And then the next shop I went to, I got legacy eight this volume two and this is the first appearance of darth luft i believe that's her that's the character's name so picked that up for three dollars and 25 cents uh surprised that they had five bucks on this but again five bucks for you know rogue squadron number one uh the best deal i got well this was nice but i was really excited about this because i'm adding this one to the collection and i think i might be adding this one to the collection um I don't know if I have it yet, but this one for sure. This is Dr. Effort 3, 15 bucks. Um, I saw one sale recently that it was actually really high, like near 80. I love the cover, and it's the first appearance of Magnus Tolvin. I, I think that's her name. It's Dr. Effort's love interest, but yeah, super cool cover. I love that. 15 bucks. Had a really high sale recently. Couldn't go wrong with that. Um, and then this was, I also bought this. Star Wars Tales 24, everyone knows this book. Uh, first Darth Nihilus, and this is cover B. It is a new stand, but I think a lot of them are. Um, I paid, so it says 625. They told me they had they had to like reprice a lot of books and I was really upset. So he offered me 60 bucks for it. The only thing that was wrong with it was this right there. Um, there's a little, it looks like there's maybe a little stain right there, but the book overall looks pretty good. 60 bucks. Uh, it is a, it is a upgrade from mine. The one that I bought a while back was, has so many creases in the book. So just at this one, you can barely notice from the logo. This looks way better than my copy. And I would be kicking myself if I left it for 60 bucks. So I ended up buying it. And so, yeah, I had to, I had to go with that. And then the last thing I got from this weekend that I bought was uh, Path of Destruction number one, or I'm sorry, Star Wars, the Darth Bane, Path of Destruction, the first book in the trilogy. And it is the like, reprinted book with the new cover. And again, I just read that book. I loved that book and that cover. Uh, I had to get it. I'm obviously, I'm a big Dark Side Sith fan. Actually, I, I take it back. The last, I bought this today as well, Republic Adventures number one paid cover i wanted to buy from this uh local shop so i just picked up an issue one this is the last one they had left so i decided to buy it but speaking of my mandalorian collection uh i got from this shop that i bought this i bought this a while back for 30. actually i don't know if it was 30 if i ended up paying 20. i might have asked him if he could 20 but it's got toby Dalla in there mandalorian i'm gonna have to open that up i got this a while back mandalore this Django Fett, super clean, Boba Fett, Sabine Wren. So those are all gonna be from my Mandalorian collection. And then also another really cool piece that um, I got a while back off Mercari for like real cheap is this Crimson Empire uh, graphic novel and exclusive mini bus or micro bus. Uh, it comes, I think the Darth Sidious one is the exclusive. 
and it comes with the Royal Guard. It's It was sealed. I think the glue just came undone, but I've never opened it. Uh, but yeah, so this is just a really cool piece for the collection. I don't know if I'm a, this would be in the collection for now, whether, whether or not I keep it, I don't know, but I might have to tape it down or something because like all that, like I said, that glue came undone. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Added a lot of cool stuff to the to the collection. Super stoked about it. the Comic Con. Had a, had a blast, uh, even though I only stayed for like three hours. Um, they have another one right when I get back from leave, and I think it's I think it's a week after I get back from leave. So it's basically two weeks from now. So I'm super excited about that one as well. They're coming back, and I can't get enough of it. So yeah stay tuned for more hauls i'm i'm super excited to have like a just a strictly another star wars comic book haul it's been a while since i've done like some back issue star wars stuff so yeah thanks for watching hope you love doing